Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at another one of these unofficial Windows versions and uh, this one was actually submitted to me by a viewer over on Twitter uh, by the name of 1010-8401 uh, and he offered to send over a image file of Windows 7 Neon Edition which is something that I have never heard of but uh, he says that he used this very operating system many years ago and he thought that it was pretty cool and from this image that he sent over, it looks to be pretty neat. Uh, as you can see with like most of these um, unofficial Windows packs, it does modify a lot of the visual elements. You can see here, this actually looks pretty cool. Um, and this is a modification of Windows 7, uh, which is also pretty neat as most of these unofficial Windows versions, for whatever reason, are usually um, modifications of Windows XP. I assume that's just because it's you know a little bit more popular to modify Windows XP. Um, as that seems to be the case, but I've done a couple of videos, I believe the only one I've done of like a modification pack like this on Windows 7 was Windows 7 Gold Edition, so it's going to be pretty cool to see how this looks. Um, the file that he did send over was a Norton Ghost image, uh, which is a .gho file, um, which I had, you know, to convert uh, using, or, well, not convert, but restore it to a virtual hard drive using Norton Ghost here, so... Um, again, a huge thank you to 1010-8401 for sending this over to me. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at Windows 7 Neon. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this full screen here. And you can see that uh, Norton Ghost has fully completed the uh, clone here. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the computer. And um, we're going to boot up. Um, here we are. You can see that the Windows 7 boot screen doesn't really look any different. Uh, which is, you know, a common thing with a lot of these. Some of them modify the boot screen, some of them don't. So it looks like it might be in its first boot state where it's kind of has to go through to like, you know, it usually does all those messages with, uh, with like the registry and stuff um, on its first boot. So yeah, you can see here that it says setup is uh, starting services. So this might have been uh, in like the second or third state uh, of the setup. So you can see here that there's a totally new screen here. This is, you know, totally modified. We've got all this information up here. We've got the OS date and time, uh, I guess how long that it's been up. We've got all of these, you know, pretty cool looking backgrounds. Um, we've got some tasks that it has to do and it says um, like what state that it's in. So right now it's on the OS deploying state and it has to go into the, you know, to load the softwares, um, clean the, uh, the SRS setting and finishing deploy. So a little bit of this is, you know, kind of, I mean, like the number six is just called setting. I don't know what, what, like what it's setting, if it's modifying settings, if it's like setting user settings, I don't really know. Um, it also has the uh, CPU and the RAM usage down here, which is pretty neat. And we've got some programs, I guess you can press F9 to launch task manager and F10 to launch device manager and F11 to launch the registry editor. But um, besides for all of this, you know, all this information on the right side here, as well as these uh, changing backgrounds, this is usually what it does um, on its first boot procedure, uh, where, you know, where it says setup is installing devices, it has like a little percentage there, it usually does all of this, so that is a pretty cool touch that whoever made this, I'm not sure who made this, um, he did mention in that direct message he sent me that it's not you know, really easy to find this online today. He said that he was not really able to find it or something along those lines. Um, so that's why that he offered to send it over to me um, through a DM. So um, yeah, it's got some some pretty random backgrounds. We've got like this image from like the Tron movie, I believe. Then we got this one, and then there was like a Windows Seven logo and like just a bunch of random images. I'm not sure what it is really supposed to represent i mean see like it goes from that to like this picture of a field with a house and ground like i don't i don't know what like what it's like really supposed to represent but um so it's applying system settings and uh yeah it'll be pretty cool to see what comes on this operating system as i said i've never you know taken a look at this before okay so setup will continue after restarting um so this is my first time like with a lot of these videos i don't really go uh, I, I like try to save everything you know to do live on video so I don't really like take a look at it before um, the only thing that I've seen was that image that he sent me I have not seen like anything else of this operating system I like haven't you know fully booted up or installed it um, in like another virtual machine so this is my first time taking a look at it and now it's the setup is preparing your computer for first use so 
it's going to go okay checking video performance so yeah this is all the normal steps that it goes into um when it's doing its first boot procedure so uh i'm just going to let it finish that here if it does take a while uh, i don't know how long that it's you know going to take windows 7 usually installs pretty fast in a uh, in a virtual machine on, on my computer so and okay so here we go uh, it's not even going to ask me for like my name or product key or anything uh, it's got a totally different welcome screen here, a new Windows 7 logo down there, which looks pretty neat. Uh, we also have like the little language uh, selection button on the on the bottom left there. Um, I'm going to see if I can uh, install VMware tools. I assume that I can because, you know, it's still Windows 7. Um, so, okay, it's going to go right in. Uh, so we have sound. It's just open up device manager. Uh, we'll just do uh, we have public network. Why not? Okay. So we see we have a, a totally different theme. Uh, I there might be like an arrow theme, so I'm probably going to have to install uh, VMware tools. But there's a whole new cursor here. Um, a cool little um, like hover animation when you like hover over menu items. Um, that's pretty neat. We got some new icons, a new start button. Um, I'm gonna see if I install VMware tools, like if it changes anything, I mean, it might not, but uh, from that image, it showed like it kind of had uh, like a modification to the arrow theme. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that first. So we will uh, install VMware tools. But I mean, so far it looks pretty neat. I'm gonna see if I can change the uh, screen resolution up to 1920 by 1080. So there we go. Um, we'll go into computer here. Okay, so there's a whole new uh, Windows Explorer design as well. Um, with this, it, it says blue down here for some reason. Uh, this is probably going to look better with the arrow theme, so I'll just go ahead and install uh, VMware Tools here. And uh, we will see what it does. Um, while it's doing that, I'm just going to go in to personalize and see if we can change the theme. Yeah, so this is an uh, an arrow blue theme, and it's supposed to have transparency and other arrow effects, as it says on here, but it's probably just because we don't have VMware tools installed. So, but yeah, I mean, going through already, there's a lot of stuff that has been changed. A lot of the default images, like on the sidebar here and in uh, like my computer, this has all been changed around. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'm probably gonna say that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool a lot in this video, you know, because uh, I've never seen this before, and these are always pretty cool to, uh, you know, take a look at and see what other people um, can, like, do, you know, like when they modify Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. I've not seen a whole lot of these on Windows Vista. It would be pretty cool to see one of those. Um, but, yeah, um, we'll just go ahead and install VMware tools here. Nothing super exciting. Oh, that that kind of looks like, um, like a Mac OS X Aqua, like, button thing there. That, that's pretty cool. Um, like a, like a super early version of, uh, a Mac OS 10 kind of had that similar design. So it kind of, uh, you know, reminded me of that. It's pretty neat. See, there I go again. That's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and just let it install VMware tools and see what it does. Uh, I'm also just noticing that a lot of this is in a different language. Like for this clock down here, you can see when I hover over it, um, it's, uh, in a totally different language there. So I might have to change that. Um, but most of the other stuff seems to be in English, which is pretty neat. Um, go ahead and just restart and let it, you know, do what it has to do. Um, so yeah, really the only thing I can see so far that they haven't modified was the boot screen. Um, that's really about it. I mean, maybe it'll change now. No, it still, still looks the same. Uh, so they haven't changed that, but they changed everything else. They changed, you know, like the welcome screen around, the... You know, theme, which we're hopefully going to see the full theme now that we've installed VMware tools. Again, just a just a huge thank you to that guy, uh, 1010 8401, I believe, for sending this over again because this is pretty neat. I, there I go again, saying it's pretty neat. I feel like I, I've probably said that 50 times in this video. Somebody will like probably like just post that down in the comments, be like, "You've said this like 50 times." Okay, we get it. It's pretty neat, you know, or it's pretty cool or whatever, but. Uh, I just have a tendency to say that a lot. So we have the theme applied now. I just had to go and change to the Windows 7 theme and then go back to the Arrow Blue theme. But you can see that it's this whole title bar is fully transparent. There's no like, like you know, little box here 
um, that is usually white in, you know, like all, like, like, I mean, let me just go back to the Windows 7 theme to show you. See how there's usually like this little address bar here that's been totally um, made like the same as like the rest of the title bar. Same with the, the search bar over here. Um, we've got like some different buttons over here for, you know, like to maximize and, you know, to minimize and all that. Uh, is that a different... I don't know if that's just the VM or if that's a totally different effect there. It kind of does. It almost looks like it kind of folds in uh, to the bottom there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we'll just go through. Let me open up my computer now. Um, from what I see so far, there's not... Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of like theme modification programs. A lot of this, I guess, has been done with, I assume, just system modifications, not really anything with third party programs. Um, but you see that we do have a few things like Fox Reader, um, Yahoo Messenger, WinRAR, but I mean, these are things that don't really have anything to do with like modifying the theme around. So, um, but I mean, whoever made this has gone through, they've put a lot of effort into it, I can see. They've definitely changed this around. They've changed all these bars. They put a whole new icon pack on here. Um, so all these icons look pretty cool. Uh, and there is a new cursor, as you can see, which looks pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, let me just, you know, maximize this here. If we go into system, even all the folders look different. Uh, if we go into windows, you can see there's like a blue. So it's like a very blue, like type theme. Uh, but but it's still called Windows 7 Neon. I'm going to actually, let's see if we can go into, um, I'm going to just keep pause break and see um, what that it identifies itself as. So it still calls itself Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1. Um, and this is, I mean, pretty, you know, pretty standard. There's not really a whole lot that has been changed here, uh, except for this logo here, which looks pretty neat. Uh, full computer name, Blue. So it's called Blue, but I'm not sure... I mean, because this even here says blue. I mean, it's it, it, it's like a blue theme. So I don't know, maybe he was going to originally call it like Windows 7 Blue, but thought that, you know, that was too generic or something. So he like changed the name to Neon. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, um, let me go ahead. Let's let's just launch Winver here. I mean, usually they kind of change it around. Okay, so here we have like a whole new banner, Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, Sky123.org. I guess that's the website that it's from. Um, but from what it appears, it's fully activated. Um, I assume that it's, you know, obviously cracked. I mean, that's what most of these are. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if the guy that sent this to me, like, already had all that information entered. I, I you know, believe that, that you know, it, it just does this, uh, like, on its own. Like, it goes through and it, you know, like, puts in the name as admin, um, or just uses the default administrator account and puts in, or somehow is able to, like, uh, crack it so you don't need to put in the uh, you know like a product key I mean it says Windows is activated down here um, but yeah a couple of things yeah Vietnamese mode I, I, I guess this was made by somebody that's in Vietnam because there is turn on Vietnamese mode but this is still like this is in a totally different language I assume Vietnamese maybe can we switch it to English US I, I guess if we go to English, oh, come on, English on US and Canada. Date and time settings. Yeah, it's still in this other language. Uh, it has like the time correct. Notify me when the clock changes. If we click OK, no, it's still, I mean, I turned off Vietnamese mode. It's in English mode. I don't know what what is this program? Is this just something that's that's in like Windows itself to to change stuff around? Um, Internet Download Manager, Key Finder 2.08. Zip. I don't know what that is. Properties. Well, it was downloaded from this website. Vn. So maybe like a you know Vietnamese website. I I don't know what that is. I hope it's not you know like a key logger or, or, you know, anything like that. Uh, usually, like I say, I don't really recommend somebody use this as like your main operating system because it's not anything, you know, official. There could be viruses in here. I don't know. I mean, I, I did like a video a while back because a lot of people, when I did the videos on XP Gold and 7 Gold, a lot of people thought that they had viruses in them. And I did like a, 
you know, like a whole video um, going through and doing like a scan with a vast and, you know, a couple other antivirus uh, programs. And it didn't find any malware, but that's not, you know, there might have been something that it, you know, didn't detect. And there might be something in here. I don't know. Um, so I would never recommend using this on like a main computer where, you know, you're going to be dealing, you know, with like your, you know, like your personal information, you know, like your bank accounts and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is pretty cool to install inside of a virtual machine or on like, you know, some secondary computer that you don't really care about, um, that sort of thing. But I'm not sure how to change this around. Maybe if I go into control panels or a way to change the language, I mean, because it's, it's in English. I mean, you can see that it's all in English, everything... Uh, all this stuff is in English. It's just the, the, the this uh, clock down here is in, you know, whatever language that is, you know, Vietnamese. I don't know. Uh, can we? It's probably right in front of me. Language, region, and language. Yeah, Vietnamese. Okay, we want to change that to English. Uh, not Australia. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter, but English. English or is US United States okay so now it'll put everything in like the US formats okay there we go I guess if you change the language in here it really only changes it in like the you know like the uh, clock down here and maybe in a couple other places but it doesn't seem to affect the entire system so we'll change we're not in Vietnam we're in uh, the US and yeah apply and okay so yeah, I guess this was made by somebody over in Vietnam, which is, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, a couple of these were made by... Uh, XP and 7 Gold were made by a team or, like, a group of people in Pakistan, I believe. I don't know where... I think XP Micro and 7 or and Tiny 7 was made by somebody in, like, the U.S., you know, somewhere here in North America. I don't know. Um, and this is made by somebody apparently in uh, Vietnam, which is pretty neat. So... But yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. This video has been going on for like 20 minutes, so I'm probably going to do you know a little bit of editing uh, to get it down into a more watchable format. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, a huge thank you to that guy, uh, 10108401, for sending this over to me uh, through a, uh, a Twitter DM. Um, and yeah, if you guys you know enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this, and if you have um, one of these uh, you know very obscure operating system that doesn't necessarily have to be windows it could be something else um you know like a modification to you know uh, like the mac os or some cool distro of linux that you would like me to you know take a look at um definitely get in contact uh, with me and i can definitely do a video on it guys i just want to again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video